Hi, this is Thomas Porter from MusicRadar.com at Frankfurt Museum Messe 2011. Uh, we've come to Ashdown Engineering Stand and we're taking a look at the MyBase. Uh, it's a digital base head. Uh, I've got Dan Gooday here who's going to talk us through it. Right, we have new for Messe, we have the new 220 and the 550. Uh, the 220 comes as standard in black and then the 550 comes in standard in silver. The concept behind the MyBase is it's called a my bass for a reason. It's your instrument, it's your amplifier, my bass. So the idea is to be able to have two other colors that you can buy separately. There's going to be a purple and a blue that you can buy the front panels, five simple screws, and you can change it over. There's also going to be, um, what's it going to be? It's going to be custom panel design. So you can actually design your own front panel and have it for wherever you want it. So. There's an example actually to the cabinet just, just over there, so um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But I'll just take you through some of the simple sounds. Generally, it's a Class D digital bass amp. Uh, we're using a Bang & Olufsen power section, which is extremely versatile and extremely warm and rich. For a Class D product, it has a warmth to it that is unfamiliar amongst other Class D amps. And we're very confident this model is going to it fulfill all the all the needs of every bass player, despite being at such small size, and it, it packs a, a fair amount of punch. So, uh, here's a, a simple little run through of what it can do. Okay, great. Seven band semi parametric EQ. You have your frequencies and then you have a level fre frequency. So you have a bass, low mid, high mid, and treble. Mid range is very important for a bass player. It's what makes your sound cut through where we're not necessarily wood against the guitarist or what have you. So the versatility of this head is quite extreme. You can get a nice round dubby tone to it. If I just set it a bit like that, round off the treble you get this really really deep, warm, rich tone that yeah, it isn't really that familiar for a Class D product so we're very excited to have an amp that's warm, rich and powerful so you can also from that take this EQ completely change it, set your frequencies slightly differently for the more hi-fi bass player amongst us. And you can get that real... Bootsy Collins? Yeah, a little slappy and a little funky, yeah, indeed. Um, makes a difference. I mean, amplifiers like this normally have one trick. Uh, we've tried to, to make it... Uh, uh, a bit more versatile than others that are out there um, and we're quite confident that we've managed that. We were the first on the market nearly 12 years ago with the Superfly digital bass amp and since then others have come out with other digital amps and other smaller hi-fi products and from other companies and over the years we, we, we did a, a product called a, the Little Giant which yeah. is a 500 and a 1000 watt model. Um, the most important thing about this is the way that the power is delivered. So, you can get the full power into either four or eight ohms, whereas normally you'd have to get it all into four ohms, so you'd have to use two eight ohm cabinets. It gets quite complicated. But with this, plug it into any cabinet, be it four ohm or eight ohm, and you'll get the power that you want to get. And I think for bass players, it's very important to be able to stand up and be loud, as we all like to be loud. Um, so yeah, the MyBase, um, available from August, uh, and, and pretty much most good retailers across Europe. And, and How much? How much? We're looking at around about 499. Recommended retail is yet to be confirmed, but for the 550 we're looking at 499 pounds, and then for the 220 we're looking around about sort of 359 area type thing. So that's great. Thanks for that.